past few days we talked about who past few days we started our conversation with Laval uh, Vyoski mm -hmm. and then we talked about um, B.F. Skinner uh, no, uh, Jean, Jean Piaget then B.F. Skinner and Ivan Pavlov, right? Mm -hmm. now I'm gonna ask you a do now problem and today we're gonna talk about one of the great also psychologist learning theorist Jerome Brunner he was born in New York City he was born in 1915 and guess what mm -hmm. uh, what year he died 1980 no try again 1980. 2016 so how long <laughs> yeah that's right yeah that he, I was alive he, yeah yeah he, so he, yeah, he, he was associated with New York University Harvard University Wait, and no, Oxford he was University at 1915 to 2016. Oh. He lived 90, 101 years. That's true. Okay. Uh, that's happened when you do the right thing. Okay. So I wanted to focus on the board right now. So the do now problem today is right. Right four stages of right four stages of what? Stages of cognitive development. Four stages of cognitive development. I'll give you one minute to finish it. I'm going to walk around and see. Um, I'm going to rotate it around to help you out. Okay, you guys, do you guys need help? Okay. So, what are the four stages of cognitive development? I, I see some of you already did it. It's because we did it before. That's probably why. So, what are the four stages of cognitive development we are talking about? Sensory, concrete, oh. tools, and... Uh, Pre-operational. Not sen uh, what, what is it? Sensory, uh, sensory motor? Oper uh, Pre-operational. Uh, pre sensory motor is 0 to what? 2 and 2 to? 7, 7 to 11. I hope sensory, uh, I hope sensory, concrete, tools, and operation. Yeah. All right. This is this is called sensory motor. Uh, um, does any of them have to do with concrete? Yeah. This is, this is this is what? Um. Uh, what? Formal, no, pre-operational. Pre-operational. And then. And then concrete operational. And oh, so concrete. This is, yeah. And then. Con I don't concrete like. Cold or concrete. Concrete operational. Yeah. Formal operational. And then formal operational. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, so concrete tools and operation. So the Brunner, Jerome Brunner, um, kind of, he does not agree with this. He, uh, he kind of, he basically, he basically says that uh, there are, he basically says that a kid, can learn anything, anything, any type of concept. What, if you know how that, to teach. Isn't that what if somebody else said, like B.J. Skinner? Not B.J. Skinner. Oh, no, no. Lavoisky. Lavoisky also said it. Lavoisky also said that GPD. GPD. However, there is a condition. Your GPD has to... Expand. You know. Your GPD of the... The, 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 the understanding has to expand if you understand it and then to expand the understanding it's not oh, a function so of it's not a function a fifth grader video yeah, about. yeah it's not a function of the okay. age okay oh, for example yeah, yeah. you can be two year old and you have a bigger zpd than for example a 20 year old oh, okay right. so your zpd can be as big as you want does that make sense yeah. Yeah. it depends on your zone no it depends on the zone but zone you uh you 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 make your yeah, zone bigger yeah. and bigger through three ways number yeah. one is PM, 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 no teacher uh, a, a, a more yeah, the, the, what, what, what do you call it you call it a knowledgeable person okay. a knowledgeable person mm -hmm. so a knowledgeable person could be teacher or could be parent right yeah uh, and, Right, and the other way is language, of course, you know that. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, this guy also said that the same thing. This guy, this guy is saying that anybody can learn anything at any age if he or she has access to quality education. <coughs> In order to have quality education, you have to have a quality? Um, 
cheetah. You have to have a quality cheetah. So he divided. So, so instead of four, only the kids that get homeschooled, like that's right. Goes to MIT so, and learn calculus early. So instead of four, I'm already, I'm already eight. eight. I'm already eight, and I'm uh, at MIT. So instead of instead of okay, pay attention. Shh, pay attention. Instead of four stages of cognitive development, we talk about three modes of representation. Three modes of representation. Of representation. So three most of representation we're going to talk about. So can you turn and talk uh, to have some idea of, uh, about these three most of representation? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have an idea. Um, analysis, implementation, and and okay, think about it. What do you have to do? Reinforcement, maybe. No. Reinforcement. So inactive. <laughs> what? Inactive. I guess I'm pretty smart. Inactive. I count it. Me too. Uh, and I think. And symbolic. All the pictorial, manipulative. All right. Things. So, an, an active is the two money yet. I can't see. Um, Iconic is. One. One, two, ow, ow. one to six here. Inactive. One to seven here. And seven to beyond. Oh. One, two. All right. Now. Uh, all. Now, why don't you turn and talk? Uh -huh. Why don't you turn and talk to uh, to tell me what is an active, what is iconic, and what is symbolic? Okay. So symbolic probably means a pictorial representation. So, for example, if you show a child, um, uh, I have two apples. Iconic probably means like uh, manipulative. No, yeah. because uh, manipulative. yeah, or uh, pictorial representation. And what does uh, All right, now <laughs> nasty probably means like high abstraction. Okay, now so, no, I mean, but high abstraction doesn't happen early. We know that. Oh, from somebody else. Very nice. Very nice. Good right. thinking. Good thinking. All right, now doesn't happen in a small age. So now, what could it happen? Now, oh, I'm pretty smart. All right, now zero to one. Your own child or babies can store can store information in their brain mm -hmm. in terms of inactive in terms of inactive and what is that and what is the examples learn by doing <laughs> he said it. He said it. so no they learn by what well, you can say that learn by doing, doing for example but they still for example, don't understand I have this, okay I, uh, they, they still don't understand that's what i'm doing for example that's right oh, oh they, they have no idea of Good. They have no idea of object permanence. Object, object permanence is right here. Object. A lack of that. Object permanence. No, object permanence comes uh, right after the free operation. So object object permanence means you know you don't have you what you don't see you don't believe. For example, do you see? Yeah. No. If you are a baby. You can understand that it exists. Does that make sense? Yeah. You yeah. have to see but it in like, order to believe it. Hold on. But like this. You see this pencil uh, at the kid in the back, right? I like the way he said object, um, object permanence. Very then, good. If uh, I put the paper in front of it, then uh, and the, the baby won't see it, the baby won't think the pencil still exists, although it still does. That's right. Wow. Okay, what he's trying to say, there is a magnet, right? This is a magnet, right? right? The baby, if you show it to the baby, they will say, oh, yeah, there is a magnet right and there. If you cover and if you cover it, and, then, and then baby oh. will not look for this magnet. That's why they will say, so effective. Yeah, Picabo, yeah, Picabo. 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 Because they think whenever you are behind the handle. Okay, now, a baby, okay, a baby, is there any way you can tell baby when you are on the bed? If you fall, you will get hurt. Will the baby understand ever? No, but make them experience it. Don't make them experience because oh. this type of thing you don't want them. That's why you tell them all the time. Don't fall. But, but they won't understand anyway. Curious. But at, at one day, the baby falls anyway. And baby understand that falling is not a good thing. Oh. So baby, instead of instead of Coming to the edge of the bed, yeah, baby always stays. It's kind of like conditioning, right? Yeah, 
So I'm what curious about what condition? What conditioning is it? What conditioning is it? Is it uh, a classical conditioning? Classical. No. It is a open conditioning. What are you connecting? Biological and neutral? Mm. Because No, that's classical. Classical con conditioning is voluntary and open conditioning, there is a prize attached to it. So baby knows falling means pain. So baby changes behavior just like a rat changes behavior when the rat push all the electricity and the, and then they get yeah, electrified. The cat, the cat. So yeah, so yeah. so this is yeah, so yeah. this is not classical conditioning. This is open open conditioning, and that's what the BF is kind of said. the information in terms of picture okay. if you show baby a banana then yeah, that's iconic that's iconic, iconic. that's right I Ugh, I, if you I show baby the baby the magnet then the baby will not put that information using language the baby will store that information in terms of you mean. image now tomorrow you show a black magnet baby will have no idea about what is that the black one or green one or yellow one because magnet doesn't have to be red. Next time baby see the red thing, mm -hmm. baby will think that this is a magnet. <laughs> magnet. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like if you cut an apple and put your apple, if you cut the apple. For example, that's right. He's if right. you cut out a bar and then put apple skin all over it, the baby would think it's a magnet without the cord in it. That's right. But he's, he's like, that's nice. So uh, apple, baby see the apple, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, hold no, on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Shh, hold on, I'll be right back. They mean I can't. There are no students in the back, they're all left. <laughs> Guess they must be bored. But this is very interesting. Yeah. Jerome Bruner lived too long. Too one long? One hundred and one years. It's a calendar. Okay, so ah. 2016, you now show the baby, you show the baby banana, right? Yeah. So the baby will store this information, will store the picture of the banana inside the mind. mind. Now next time baby see the yellow, baby will think this is banana. banana. Now you take it. Like the fruit factory. No, yellow. now what are you going to do? No, now you bring the green banana. No, no, now you show this to baby. Baby will have no idea what is this. Oh, yeah. The baby will, will have yeah. like, roughly no idea because it slightly resembles the banana, but they won't uh, really know what it is. That's right. So, baby is stored the information in terms of what? Image. But imagine image. this. Imagine this. If the image yeah. doesn't fit the reality, so one, they don't know. Yeah. So, one day, you bring a magnet home and then they uh, store that image of a magnet in that mouth, in their mouth. The next day, you are uh, cut experiment and put uh, apple skin all over a mango bar the, the, so that it would create some sort of red ball. Okay. The baby, and knowing that red ball looks like oh, magnet, smart. will establish that the mango or apple bar is actually a magnet. That's right. Even though it's not. That's right. So this is not actually baby. Yeah, that's not actually baby. So one to seven year old. One to seven year old, right? Mm -hmm. And then so babies store the information in terms of what? Image. Image. Oh. And then symbolic. So symbol. Okay. And for example. Somebody uh, no. So a what are examples of symbols? Like Language can be hand language, so one, two, three, four. No, that's symbols. Right? No, that's sim that's not symbolic. Oh. That's, that's image. That's image. Oh. Symbolic means seven. Uh, X, Y, Z. Seven. Oh, okay. Seven. That's symbolic. So now you, you don't have to see symbol. seven apple to know. Yeah. Now okay. baby can go backward. If you write seven, baby will show you the icon. Yeah. Oh, can. yeah. Ah. Baby can go now backward, but baby they cannot cannot go forward. Go forward. Okay. All right. Very then, good. Wh why can't they go? If they can go forward, doesn't there be a fourth stage in where they can? Well, I mean, there is. According to uh, uh, Brunner, this he calls three modes of representation, and he really have a problem with the cognitive four stages of cognitive development. Oh. But it's okay. Different people have different views. 
we take the best idea and we become the best teacher. We adapt to it and we uh, maybe make a few changes. Because okay. the Socrates back then wasn't perfect. Yeah. It's very, very good. Okay. Oh, All right. Oh. Okay, now we got the, the best. Saying you're even better. The, the, the best. Yeah. The best discovery of Jerome Bruner, who who, born, who was born in blind. He was born in blind, by the way. He was born blind. He was born blind. Well, and how he, did he get out of that blind phase? Well, I mean, uh, the, we the don't have so he never passed through the second stage. No, the technological advance. So the treatment really uh, uh, allow him to see at his uh, very young age. He started to see things, but he was born in blind. Anyway, so today we talk about. Uh, as you know that the... Uh, Wait, what did all the do of the, very elaborate do now? Yeah, we are done with do now. Oh, the no. key is famous for ZPD. Okay. Uh, zone PSA uh, are famous for uh, four, four cognitive stages. Uh, Skin is famous for uh, uh, operant conditioning. Uh, no, now this guy is famous for discovery. Hold on, you don't need to write down. 16 minutes uh, now. Uh, so this guy is famous for what? This guy is famous for what? Discovery learning. So discovery learning. This is our lesson. Okay. Discovery learning. Um. So th this guy, he's talking about that. This has been a 16 that's minutes. That's fine. That's fine. So so he's talking about the children. The children learn best when we go from children learn when best. They no, that gravity exists until Oh, sure, don't tell. Sure, sure don't tell. Oh, yeah. No, don't tell. When you give the student ownership, okay. when you give the student ownership, for him, he will take this, he will remove this picture. Who? He will, uh, brother. Brother will say, well, why you have to hang the Newton picture on the board? You yourself can be Newton can be Einstein. Does that make sense? Yeah. You have to invent or discover your own fact. Oh, what, yeah. what does he say? Student remember the concept the concept they have discovered himself. So you're going to write that. The student remember concept they discover discover himself. Student, so this is the motto of his discovery learning. So guess what? Who is the father of project-based learning? Um, Bruno. Bruno. Project-based learning. Really? Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen project-based school? Yeah, there is a school in Manhattan called. Um, I used to work there. Institute for Collaborative Education. Yeah, I, I used to work guys, and that um, that's a project based learning. In a project based learning is discovery learning. It is no final exam. The yeah, the motto is a student understand concept by discovering on their own. On their own. Yeah. It's not easy by the way to become a teacher in a project based school is not easy, but is it is it important is it good for a student? Yes. Yes. Very good, in fact. You Very good. Uh, it's hard to do and it's hard to afford, but it helps students know, know everything much quicker. Okay. It does it all that much quicker. So two things, two things, the, uh, the, the, the discovery learning, three things, in fact, they are using. Number one is, number one is predisposition. What is it? Predisposition. Pre. Yes. Well, I can't see your well, arm blocking. Is that like a hypothesis? No. You have to you have to activate the student interest. Okay. Right away from the get go. You have to activate the student interest. Can you activate in a physics class? Can you activate the student interest by writing Maxwell equation on the board? Probably not. Probably not. If you write this symbol, probably, not. If, if probably you, how you lose interest, not gaining. If you write this symbol on the board. They won't know. If you, yeah, if you say the divergence, the divergence is zero, you know, you are probably helping a student fall asleep in the middle of the class. Yeah. So, yeah, they don't know until you demonstrate 
Uh, sorry, so predisposition is we're... activate. So that's why we're making so many experiments? That's why there was so many experiments that's in that right. other class I took a month ago? Yeah. Yeah, there were like four teachers. Right? All right, number no. two. That this, was this class. Number two is spiral. Oh, spiral curriculum. Yes, yes, yes. Spiral curriculum. Spiral curriculum. Does that, what does that mean? Then as a teacher, you're going to revisit, revisit the concept. Real four. Re, no, revisit the concept. Revisit same concept. Same? So it's like reinforcement, right? Re no. Re no. Re review it. Now, every time you revisit the concept, guess Strong. complex. Oh. So However, concept, so like guess this. You add, you add complexity. You add complexity. You add? So it's like a very, it's like a staircase. Small step. Yeah. Oh, he called it a staircase. He called it a staircase. staircase. <gasps> That's what he called it. Oh. He calls it a staircase. That's what I said. A staircase. He calls it a staircase. Hi. Yeah. Please don't take the credit for it. What? Staircase. We should be both not have credit. It's so, what Darren Bruner said. So the spi spiral curriculum is revisit same concept, but you make it, you add complexity, just like a staircase learning. Do you have to, do you have to walk the first stairs in order to go to the second stairs? Mm, yeah. That's right. Oh, and when you first walk the stair, you hold the railing. That's the scaffolding. That's, that's the scaffolding, yes. And soon when you and get used to the stair, you, you know, the you, know you know what? Lev Wojnowski was not the man who discovered the the who used this uh, scaffolding? Oh. He was the person who used the scaffolding. Oh my God! So he did everything. Scaffolding. Why did you hear about him before? Well, I mean, you know, you you. He, you. Was, he was less famous. But yeah, he is less famous because main most idea came from Lavoisky and John Piaget. Oh. So he just yeah you know he work he work on the domain of uh, John Piaget and, and Lavoisky. Okay, and he put it, uh, he, he he purified them. He takes some idea from John Piazza and takes some idea from Yeah, Yeah, okay, very good. Juxtapose. Yeah, juxtapose. Okay. Uh, now, juxtapose. Now, now he said yeah. that he said that a teacher every lesson mm -hmm. should contain three things. Number one. Now, first one is handsome. Handsome. What we usually do, right? So like an experiment or something. Handsome. Number two. Mm -hmm. Image and then review. No abstract. Oh, oh these are those are the three modes of um, three modes of year. That's right. Oh, that comes from that comes from three modes of representation. At the beginning, very good, very good. Abstract or abstract? Abstract. How do you spell that? Not it's like, all right. Three modes backwards. I think. So, for example, at the first, when you introduce a concept, a student like a baby, zero to one. All right. You understand what? Oh yeah, yeah. They are like a. Yeah, they are like a. They are like, right. a, they are like a, You have to treat them as baby. Oh, you call it. Explain it to me like I'm five. Once, once you once you give them uh, some understanding, in terms of. On that concept, they become little, little, little grown up. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, they don't so, know. So they don't know that this pencil will drop. They this is not. Of this is not realized. This is not realized. This is the age associated with Mental. the the one that three modes of uh, presentation. Yeah. As if, if you ask me right now. Mentally. For example, if you ask me right now, mm -hmm. a concept, for example, uh, I don't know, uh, a concept like, uh, I don't know, a special relativity. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay. And then, and then, and then I am at what it stays. Hands on. No, at hands on. If you show me, then I'll probably be yeah. able to understand by image, yeah. and then I'll be able to understand by yeah. method. Yeah. Like right. uh, um, in year or two, you'll probably be uh, able to do abstractions. Right. Okay. Can be so complicated. today I'm gonna teach you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna teach you 
Faraday's law of induction by using Brunet's method. Okay. okay? Oh. By using Brunet's method. What do you have to do? I'm going to give you some instruments. Oh, that is like Faraday's law, like we don't know it, like we're on the first state. Yeah, because you don't know it anyway. Oh. But I will not tell you. So what I'm going to fast us to do, I'm going to make it hands on. So today we're going to do Faraday's what? Law of induction. Faraday's laws of? As I like to call it, noise. Laws of induction. Noise? Faraday's law of, laws of induction. First, I'm going I'm to give you some materials mm -hmm. to create the current, okay? Okay. I'm not going to tell you how to create the current, but I'm going to tell you the materials. Shh. Is it this much wire thing Hold on. over here? I don't have to deal with the thing. Hold on. The second thing, what I'm going to do? I'm going to ask you to draw that. I'm going to ask you to draw it. And then use the picture and this to write the yes. equation. Alright, so the first one, I'm going to give you five minutes to create the current. Go ahead. So I'm going to give you the loop. Here is the loop. Here is the loop. Here is the bulb. Here is the, here is the magnet. So only only loop and magnet you're gonna have to create current okay okay all right good luck okay this is very easy right so only the loop and the magnet so okay i'll so hold it so we need to connect one of the wires right yeah maybe so, connect one of the wires to the yeah. plastic loop so um let me wait let me just ask the teacher for some advice okay yeah. is that okay yeah, uh, teacher, can uh, can you please uh, help us out? No, no help, no help. I'm gonna rotate it around, but I will not help you. So confused. Could you like okay, okay. put this here and? Oh put no no no! That I got it! I got it! No no! no. Look, what what shape is this loop? A circle. Circle. So we have to make a circle with the wire. No. No no no! We no. have Listen to do to something like magnetically. No no. Oh. So put the magnet through the center of the circle. No, uh, would you want to know what I think? Oh, what? You should connect both of the uh, alligator wires with the magnet onto the circle, and then move the magnet through the circle. No, no. To make the you have to connect the magnet with the wire. That's why he gave us all of this. Then, but the, it wouldn't flow because I believe. Doesn't have to flow. Doesn't have to flow. No. I that know, I know, the bulb. I've guessed a lot of these things and they've just become true for them. No, one more minute. Voltage. Um, yeah. voltage. One more minute. Induce voltage means induce current. We have to make the flow. Okay, okay. can I just try? At the minimum, I can try. Uh, I can give you some uh, tape. Let me just, uh, I'm not going to help you, but I can give you some tape. Uh, What's this so, See, I put it right here and then... No, why should, should we put not... it like that? That's wrong. Why do we put it like this? Yeah, yeah. I'm, here. I'm gonna give you only one Where's more minute. If you can do it, then I'll just show you. Okay. Okay. But I don't want to show you because okay. this is learning by doing. And then put, let's put this on here as well. Ooh, the inner side of the Here, I got it. So, um, so um, let me let me see. Oh, oh, I have an idea. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. Look, I have an idea. What? What? I have an idea, okay? Uh. What if we actually move the magnet through the loop? Yeah! Good, good, oh good. Oh my god. That's good. what I was That's what I was, that That's what I was thinking. Oh my god. I was thinking that. I'm so a goddamn it. genius. Hold the low. First tape it, tape wait, wait, that wait. one around the loop. Yeah, yeah, first we, we, we gotta tape the No, tape. first tape the thing around the loop. Yeah, tape it, tape it. Okay, 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 we taped it and now, okay, uh, move it through the, oh, yes, yes, sorry, sorry. Let's, uh, we have to tape the tape it. So, okay, okay, we, we taped it. Okay, very nice. And okay, are you ready to uh, to uh, uh, one student can hold the loop? Yeah, I'll hold it. I'll hold, and hold the loop and the light bulb both. Hold both. Oh, oh. Both. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I'll hold it up so we uh, the students in the back can see. Okay. Oh, wait, it got hold the light bulb. It got this attached. Hold the light bulb. 
Uh, hold the loop and light bulb. Well, why yes. do I do this attack? Do it. Okay, uh, let's try uh, once again. Because... Isaac, you can hold the light bulb. Uh, okay. I'm just waiting for uh, Albert to do his thing. Hold oh. the light bulb. Okay, Isaac. okay, okay. Uh, I connected the the, the loop. What the okay, thing? hold. Okay, no, no, no. You you gonna move the magnet? I hold the light bulb. Okay. okay. Yeah, you you start, move the magnet. Start, start, start moving the magnet in three, two, one. Oh my God! Uh, let me put it right I to. Don't like the sun. No, no, no. Uh, okay, can we uh, turn off the light again? Wow! Yeah, I just like the sun. Wow! This is a sight to see, folks. Yeah. Wow. All right. Now, this is genius. After lots of struggle, you were oh. able to create the current. Oh. Now, now you asked me for help. Okay. I did not help. That's right. Uh, but at the far, at the, in the beginning, you complained that this teacher doesn't help. Right. Now, do you do you think that I did the right thing by not helping you? Yeah. yeah. It's better. It's okay. Good. Very good. Now, I want you to draw the loop. And the magnet, how the moving the loop to the magnet and how the loop moving to the magnet be the kind of board. Go ahead, do that. On the you board? Yeah, you should be able to draw the picture of what you learn. Mm. So this is the picture version and on the left is picture mm -hmm. and on the right we're going to do the, this is picture. And on the right, or on the right you're going to do a, uh, on the right, you're gonna do. Uh... Oh, okay. Okay, professor. On the right, okay. you're gonna do what? Uh, equation. I see. However, you're not gonna ask for help. Okay. So. Go. Okay. So let me just uh, go ahead and try. Yeah. Okay. So. Um... Okay. So the picture, okay, first let me try. Saw, so, no, no, let me try. Okay. Let's both try. Let's both try at the same time. So let's say. So obviously there was a loop. There was a loop. Okay. Well, what then, do we have to draw? The magnetic field or? How the loop and magnet create the current. Okay, so okay. this is the loop. I'll call it L. This is the magnetic field. I'll call mm -hmm. it B. Yes. Or magnetic bar, I guess I'll call it I guess I'll call it M. But but wait. So the magnetic field wait, so the magnetic field I know is gonna be in 3D. Is it gonna be like a ring? Or, yeah, a ring. I or is it gonna be like two dimensional? Not, not let me think about it. Um okay, and Sherter, can you please help us? I'm like I'm not is confusing. I'm not confused. No, uh, I'll not help you. Okay, you can help each other. Okay. Like, it would make a magnetic field like this. It goes from north to south. That's what I learned okay. in my class so, one month ago. So, what is... What, we have to one more minute. Okay. we got to get it right in one more minute. Okay, so um, we have... And okay. then, that makes probably both of Maybe so, EMF? Okay. So, we have... And what do you do to... That's right, EMF. Very good. Okay. Okay. With, okay, with a velocity v. Okay. okay. Uh, this is gonna be our loop. How do you okay. write e? And I'll just write e. So this makes a make induced current. Um, I. Um, no, no. Don't write the the equation now. Write the picture and tell me when you finish. No. Okay. I just so, made the picture. Makes a uh, uh, make. Wow. Okay, so you're done? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'll not tell you right or wrong. I'm wrong. I mean the magnetic field. Where is the magnetic field? Oh, I, I want to see the magnetic there. field. I outside. Mine. Outside the loop, there is a magnetic field. Oh. Oh. Or very close to. Uh, Can very close to. Going inside? Yeah, that's right. But outside the loop. Uh, outside. Yeah, that's right. No, not on the one on one side because the one that. The magnet coming from oh the the, the one that magnet coming from yes yeah, right yeah, right okay my diagram was very messy oh no that is also fine very good now you convert that picture 
to an equation and good luck. Don't ask me for help. Well, EMF, E makes I makes power so, low. Okay, so, EMF. so write the equation for EMF. So E makes I. But that's not an equation. Yeah, 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 but no, no, no. At least we know what is going to be involved in the equation. Yeah, E? Okay. No, E, e makes V. E makes V. No, no, no. E it loses voltage, creates EMF, creates no. current. So the, oh. the, the, the flux of our delta T, but oh. there is also N because it could be N many loops. Oh. I was just blindly guessing about that equation. And because there is, I just uh, learned it from my class one month ago. And there is a negative sign. Oh my god, we missed so much. Alright, so now X is slip is. Well, at least we got the flux yeah. part, right? Well, now I'll remember because I discovered it. Well, at least we got the flux part, right? Yeah, yay! So, as this thing is, yeah. you're gonna write three ways of learning, three ways to create the lesson. So, three ways, well, no, three, three, three more, uh, three way of, what, what do you call it? Uh, the children learn best from concrete um, to abstract yeah, yeah. in three steps. So children must be, children learn best from concrete to abstract. Abstract. So three steps of learning. Um, can I can I write it on the board or write it? So you wanna write the he wanna write three modes of representation, and you wanna write three steps of learning. Okay, so this is existing. I'll write it on my So no, hold on. Three modes of what? Three modes of? No, representation. Hey, where are my notes? Oh, there they are. And three steps of learning. Of learning. Good luck. No, pass, pass one by one, one at a time. I should do both? No, I have to do the three modes of representation. Wait, Good luck. Don't worry, really use the paper. Um, inactive. Very good. In wow. Very good. Timba. No, don't tell them. Oh. Okay. What, zero to one, one to seven. Seven 
and, and beyond. Go look at your classmate and explain them. Confused. Huh? Look at your classmate and explain them. No, your classmate. No, look at the whole class and explain them. Well, um, from zero to one, uh, uh, a new reason is basically um. The babies. The, if you tell babies, don't touch the fire. The babies won't know. They have to <laughs> learn by doing it. They're like so, walk into the fire and then burn and you'll one have day, to One day, one day, baby by accident touch the fire and will never touch it again. again. So they learn by. Doing. Doing. doing it. Or uh, they fall from the bed, you tell them. I experienced them. the birth angle, but not no, on purpose. It was an accident. Okay, good. <laughs> Number two. Hmm. I'm kind. Basically means that they can now store images in their oh. head. But those images only have certain like image yeah. uh, accuracy. So like, say you bring home a magnet like this. Red color. Yeah, red color. Yeah. Let's Bad. say you want to make a cool, like, weird dish of, uh, with a mango bar and apple skin all over it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you uh, bring it to the child. Oh, and it's gonna think it's a magnet. Oh, yeah. because it's red. Number yeah, three. Yeah, because it, uh, this looks like, just like it, it put magnet skin or apple skin over it. I think that. What? Okay, number, th number three. Yeah. And then number three, symbolic. He basically knows that seven means that there are seven, uh, and seven then they means could go up. that there are seven apples. Very good. Hmm. All right, now three steps of learning. Next question. Yes. You can sit down. You can have a seat. Am I doing this one? Yeah, I am. No, we have to pay attention. Okay, I'm just going to try. And then, um, okay. Image. Is that a snack? Yeah. Do the one. Yeah. Uh, can you map? Can you can you map from? Can you explain where this idea comes from? Yeah. So in the inactive stage, uh, the students don't. The, sorry, children doesn't have object permanence, so they require total hands-on. So, for example, seven apples, you have to show physically seven apples. How do you afford seven? Oh, you said seven apples. I was about to say, how do you afford yeah. seven apples? But as you go uh, as you go down the stage, we have, uh, oh, by the way, classical conditioning also fits in here because they needed to learn, learn uh, new behavior. Not classical conditioning, apparent. Sorry, sorry apparent conditioning about uh, BJ Skinner. Right, BF Skinner. BF Skinner, yeah. And then our next stage is iconic. Iconic is when the student is more developed, and then they can, you know, uh, a picture. And we started of, using yeah. images like so, this bar is red. Yeah, so a picture is enough for them. And then finally, they can do symbolic, so like seven or eight or even X. Yeah. So when them. you start a new concept, you are like a hey, baby. 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 Uh, teacher should. Like consider you as a baby, okay? For example, if I start learning tomorrow Chinese, I would be like a baby because I don't know anything of Chinese. But at the all right, so at the at the end, this I want to just tell you and stress one more thing uh, before I let you go, and that is these ages they they don't they they, they don't they don't they don't set to the stone. Yeah, they right? are set stone. That's for the majority of people. But some people, majority of the people have no access to you. education. Uh, yeah, the more knowledgeable cooperation and collaboration. MKO. They don't have access to more knowledgeable other. Oh. But, but, uh, but uh, uh, with cooperation and collaboration, with only ten percent of parents do. That's right. Then uh, they can teach their children uh, um, uh, athlete, uh, the, uh, distort these ages and maybe uh, um, learn. So uh, now that uh, brother, Jerome brother, reminds us that anybody, can, his child can learn anything and if you can you. teach, if well. you can teach one. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, now that means, that means that means the I child, the child needs to have access to M, M, K, O, more knowledgeable other. 
All right, so more knowledgeable now that. So make sure we start giving our children access to more knowledgeable other at home that would be parent at a school that would be teacher thank you subscribe to bari science lab to fall in love with math and science especially programming